What's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grid Zombies. Yesterday we took a look at the Hunter class and now we're going to take a look at one more. This one is called the Slayer and this by far is my favorite one. So we're going to go through how you're going to do it, what you got to do, and I'm also going to show you what it looks like. So while we're waiting for DLC 1, drop a like on this video if you go on to learn something and subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter at Grizz Violent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. We know now that this character is called the Slayer, but on Reddit when it first leaked, it was leaked as Assassin. This is the last character you'll find in your menu. This is the moment I unlocked it and was first looking at it. There are five different challenges you have to complete, and these can be found in your dossier under challenges. These are hidden challenges. You have to defeat the Panzer Mortar by Wave 12, defeat the Panzer Mortar without upgrading guns, Defeat the Panzer Mordor with no blitz. Defeat the Panzer Mordor without going down. And defeat the Panzer Mordor without specials, mods, or consumables. So it's quite a process. So right now we're about a month and a half out from the launch of Call of Duty World War II. Now Zombies has had a lot of mishaps. And a lot of people were able to grind major XP with the Red Talon glitch. Uh, I consider it a farm, but Sledgehammer's not punishing players for this. And for this, we had to straight up earn it hardcore. And I mean, not the hardcore Easter egg, but you cannot cheese this like you could in the past. In the past, when you were trying to get the Slayer character, you were able to do it just for your character, all these challenges. No matter what your other players did in your lobby, didn't matter as long as you followed what you were supposed to do in these challenges, it would unlock. However, as of update 1.07, things have changed. The landscape's a little bit different, and I'm going to explain that to you now. One of these common challenges is defeat the Panzer Mordor by Wave 12. That might be one of the hidden challenges you would stumble upon if you're trying to do this or go for it hard. You might get that one first. However, when it comes to the full team, your full team now has to abide by these same rules. So, without upgrading weapons, with no blitz, without going down, without using your special, any mods or consumables, the whole team cannot do this. If one person does, or has any consumables equipped, it will automatically cancel out that hidden achievement. So, what you want to do is make sure everybody in the lobby is on point with what you want to be doing. So if you're going to get the Slayer, everyone needs to work towards helping you do that. Otherwise, they can screw it up for you. Interesting enough, the very first game that I did, I achieved all five of these I did not uh, go down at all. I used no blitz, no upgraded weapons. However, people on my team did use upgraded weapons. They did go down, and that means it canceled out the hidden challenges I was trying to achieve. So we had to go to a second game in order to achieve the last three that I missed out on. And that's the gameplay you're seeing right now. Now the great thing about trying to get this character, the Slayer, is that you only have to do the casual easter egg. So there's many tutorials out there. You can search them easy on YouTube know how to do the casual easter egg and defeat the Panzer Mordor, but it's not the hardcore easter egg where there's a lot more steps that you have to abide by. As you can see I don't have any perks and you gotta be very careful when being around the Panzer Mordor because he can damage you very quickly and take you down. So when you're gonna be doing this step, the good thing about this is that he's down longer when he's stunned. And so that gives you the opportunity to go in a lot slower I guess if you need it to go slower but in the hardcore easter egg it's a lot of a faster process you gotta be more on it but don't get me wrong I know the vibe that's out there right now a lot of you guys don't want to grind this easter egg don't even want to play this anymore because it's just not what you expected but more is yet to come and updates are on the way I know zombies updates coming very shortly along with double xp happening the 22nd through the 26th so we might have somewhat of a zombies patch coming in right before then that's kinda of what I'm feeling the vibe for but I definitely know the disconnect is happening between the audience out there the zombies community and sledgehammer sledgehammer is trying to fix this slowly but surely I mean we can't all just sit around and ignore what the facts are sledgehammer has promised us things that aren't here and they can't tease small things like double pack punch which we'll talk about in a little bit and not deliver you know what I mean so when they give us something we can't always take it like it's gonna be something they're not Treyarch and we know that now but 
despite fatal shortcomings, we have these characters to look forward to. We can keep grinding for these, but I mean, if you already have them complete and you're probably max rank, then of course you're going to be in a slippery slope, because all we do have is a survival mode. I've talked in the past about a PvP mode. We do need Grief 2.0 and customization with the loot drops happening and zombie supply drops or zombie crates to be possible. I mean, the key system in Infinite Warfare Zombie was perfect. I mean, I can't preach on that enough. But this is my favorite character in World War II Zombies, the Slayer. I love the cape. There's just something about this. It's like a super slayer. It's juicy. I really wanted to do a video on this because I think it's just something that all of you can achieve as well, beating the casual Easter egg. It's not as hard or as difficult as completing the hardcore Easter egg, so many of you guys have a chance at unlocking the Slayer. And this is really cool. Definitely my favorite. I gotta give a shout out to my man Jay Stone and his team. I'll have his channel linked down in the description box below if you want to give him a check out. He does a lot of glitches, so check him out if you definitely want to stay up to date with the latest glitches going down in the glitch community. As for where we are right now, we are in a very down time because Winter Siege, the whole winter event happening in COD World War II, really isn't bringing forth zombies into the limelight at all. So we're kind of just on the back burner and I think this was expected coming into Winter Siege. I mean, a lot of us did have high hopes, but at the same time, we can't just get our hopes up for something that might not be there. It seems like this game is just 80% of the way there. Not quite there yet, but the small things have always mattered, especially to the people of the zombies community, and that's why we love Treyarch so much. I'm not here to bash Sledgehammer, but I just wish there was more involvement. The Red Talon glitch has come to an end. This was an exploit according to Sledgehammer. And people are not getting banned for this, and I actually approve of that, because XP is damn hard to achieve in this game, let alone you don't get that many zombie supply drops unless you're ranking up, so somewhat this was fair to happen, and it seemed like it was intended. I mean, it was included in the actual main easter egg, so rightfully it wouldn't make any sense to actually ban people, but something I'm going to recommend for the Slayer itself here is absolutely keep up on your Geist shield. Because that is something you can pick up regardless of all these challenges. It's not blitz. So that could be a common misconception. So make sure you're always keeping up on your actual guide shield. Because that's like Juggernaut. And it doesn't actually count as a perk or a blitz. So just to keep up with that. If your heart goes down even by one, just keep picking it up and always have a full shield. Because you can't go down. Why risk it if you can't be souped up with all these perks? And that's something big when it comes to unlocking the Slayers. Make sure you're paying attention to that. So something I said I was going to bring up is Double Pack Punch. I want to show you the actual lobby menu, the original one that we got with the message of the day. In here it did state that you could pack a punch multiple times and can even gain new abilities. So very interesting. And they actually changed this loading screen and took this away and altered it so it didn't say that. This was something that I wanted to bring up because Sledgehammer had put this in, and when Treyarch would put something like this in, it would mean that they're teasing something definitely hidden deep that we have to look a little bit further. But something that we've come to fruition on is Sledgehammer doesn't work that way. But we do have Gun Game that's here now in multiplayer, and I gotta say, this is just a piece of crap. I cannot stand this, and they need to get hardcore AS ASP in this mode because I will shoot people five times with my PPSH and that still ain't good enough. And that just, I can't, I get so stressed out that I just want to throw my controller straight into my TV. Hardcore is the shiznit and I absolutely support all hardcore game types. And if they ain't there, little tears are coming down because I gotta wait a little bit longer. And why isn't Infected here yet? I really want to play Infected. I think that's a mode all of us are just jonesing over and we can't wait to get our hands on it. Hopefully it might even be in the zombies portion so we can get zombie supply drops by playing infected. What do you guys think about that? I think that would be a wonderful idea in Sledgehammer. You should definitely do that. Add supply drops for zombies in infected because why not, you know? And hell, one day hopefully infected might even get reskinned someday. Not in this game because I've already seen the leaked preview of the gameplay. But in Sledge, hopefully Treyarch's next game will get reskinned infected. That's what I'd like to see. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.